follow it. Come on, follow it. Follow it. Follow it. Good boy. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. The baby's about three and a half days old. You can see them doing little popcorns. They just started popcorning yesterday morning. So cute. And today we're going to do the first training with them. So I don't know how much of this they're going to interact with. Um, hopefully we'll get the grown-ups doing it and then they will just follow. Oh, I think Star is dabbling. Hey girls! Oops! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> They're still not very used to tunnels at all. Hi girls! Hello! Hi! Star! Star, come on! Star! girl. Here comes mama. Hey mama, you want some apple huh? Good girl. Chuck a bullet. There you go. Now I only give them an apple once a week and they also make sure they earn it because apple is not any fruit is not um, something you should give to a guinea pig regularly. Hi, Sarah. It's right there. No, it's there. Okay. You can work it out. It's, it's under you. <laughs> okay. Here, you can have this one. Ready? Stand. Good girl. Do you want it? Good girl. Come on, you turtle. Good girl. Just a second, Daisy. Good girl. Alright, you definitely need to stand for this one. Come on. When I said any fruit, I meant sugary fruit. Stuff like capsicum, tomato, that's technically fruit, but most people prefer to it as vegetables. Um, that is fine to feed regularly. Especially things like capsicum and tomato, because they're very high in vitamin D, very good for the guinea pigs. Hi, can I give it to baby? Can I give it to baby? Squeak, you need to pop your head out of there a bit more. Come on. Good girl. No, I gave it to you. you serious? Come on. Good girl. Here's Star. Oh, she's gone. All right, I think we're gonna need a one-on-one uh, -on -one babies and mom session for the training with guinea pigs. So that's what I'm gonna do later today. 
So we've got Daisy and our two babies, Snowball and Munchkin. And this is going to be Snowball and Munchkin's first one-on-one -on -one training session. Daisy can already smell the apple. Come on, Daisy, let's go. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. Come on. So you start by training Mama. Here you go. Let me keep apple. Tell your baby to come. I think. Good boy, Munchkin. Oh, what a good boy you are. You want to come and try some apple? Munchkin. You want to try some apple for me? Munchkin. Yeah, does it taste good? Hmm? You like it? Good boy. Hey, don't bite my hand. So the first thing you want to do when you're training new babies is show them what it is that you're offering them and then they'll know whether they want it. And you can see that he wants some more. He's following it. Hey, Munchkin, it's okay. I'll give you the rest. Okay. <laughs> and Mama obviously wants some. There you go, good girl. And you should go and hide. Why are you hiding from a baby, Mama? <laughs> Munchkin is obviously very active with this. There you go, good boy. And Snowball's walked off the carpet. Snowball, come back, please. <laughs> I think she's looking for Mom. Munchkin's helping her out. And now Munchkin's lost. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Good girl. Hey, Snowball, you want to try some apple? Alright then, Munchkin. Munchkin? Hmm? Too much. I don't know if Snowball just wants some milk. Is that right, Snowball? You just want some milk? Mummy's moving too much, isn't she? <laughs> oh, look at how they follow her, that's adorable. They're <laughs> like, where did she go? Come on girls, come on. Munchkin, what are you doing there? I think that was just a pop call to the table. Munchkin, do you want a sweet apple? Yeah. I need you on it. Good boy. Mm. Come on, follow it now. Good boy. He's taking apple. Hi, Bull. You want to try this piece of apple here? And now she's drinking milk. Let her do that. <laughs> Poor babies. <laughs> yeah, hi. Snowball to have a try of it. Yeah, that's it, Snowball. Oh!
was cruel. We have snow water there. She does care about her babies, but I don't think she knew what she was doing there. There we go, Snowball. You happy? You get some apple? Snowball is the smaller one. So, no wonder. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> babies do not know how to not bite me. And they're gone. Follow it. Come on, follow it. Follow it. Follow it. Good boy. You're such a good boy, yes, you are. Snowball. You want some apple? <laughs> you want a munchkin, okay. Good boy. Good boy. When they have food, it's always a good time to. Get them used to the padding. The main session is the padding with the food, and then the, the padding comes in. It's a better experience for them. But you always want them to get comfortable with humans because they're their pets. That's kind of their job. What are you guys doing, huh? Hiding behind a box, huh? Alright. Do you think he needs to be in the back? Looks like. Nope, not a bouncing apple. What's there? You don't know how to lick it off my finger yet, so I don't want you to bite me. Sorry for Snowball. Mm -hmm. There she goes. Hi, Munchkin. Want a piece of apple? That's, that's my phone. That's not apple. Let's have fun. <laughs> oh, he found some. Good boy. It does make sense for Mama to steal apple from them. So she does need more food than them. And she will need to provide milk for them and stuff like that. But it still kind of seems unfair. Especially when she then takes the apple and then leaves it. <laughs> Come on, guys. Get out from behind there, please. Snowball is just the most gentle and exclusive. Alright. 
guess they just want to do feeding right behind and where I don't want them to. But they want to stay still anywhere else, so we'll leave them in my mind. Oh, now she's moving in. Mama, you want to walk this out? Come here, you want to walk around? Yeah, good girl. Okay, okay. Good girl. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a good girl you are, Snowball. Daisy, give me some of what? <laughs> there we go. She's just putting her butt on it. What are you doing, Daisy? Munchkin's still eating it. Munchkin got it. Alright, I think this session is over. Let's put them back now. I think that was pretty successful, then. Oh, we got Mama who wants some more training. Go back in, girl. Go back in. Go back in the box, girl. Go on, go back in. You can have a different face. Come on. There we go. Alright. Say goodbye, girls and boy. <laughs> G'day, guys. I've got a little snowball with me. You can see now that she's just as long as my hand. She is now about a week old. Um, yeah, she is a bit more active than she was. Um, so is Munchkin. Munchkin, do you want to come out? Yeah, hello. It's okay. There you go. There you go. There's Munchkin. Munchkin is a bit more active normally, but they've both just been having a little rest, so they're a bit less crazy and they're about to go crazy. <laughs> and I can still put them both on the one hand, but much less easily, uh, especially now that they're moving a lot <laughs> and they're squeaking a lot to each other and they really have a lot of communication with each other they um now when i hold them they'll now and do little tiny little poos and they just do tiny little things like it's 
It's so funny. And mum is just like really tired. I saw um late um earlier today I saw um a snowball trying to get to Molly to get some milk and mummy just wouldn't stop walking away from her and she just kept wanting to go back to mummy and get some milk and it was just hilarious because mummy did not want to and then they went to like a hidey and the babies followed her in there and she's just like get out of here privacy <laughs> but it is her first look off so I'm giving her some help out and giving the babies more attention than they need. <laughs> Isn't that right? You want to go back to mummy, don't you? Okay, here's mummy. There we go, there's mummy. You can't really see it very well. Snowball. There's mummy. She's really snuggled, isn't she? <laughs> Snowball's trying to get in there again. Now, what are you doing? There we go. Hmm. Hmm, you look very cozy there. <laughs> you can see that little snowball is just under her. You can kind of see her moving under there. <laughs> there we go. There's her head. <laughs> She's like, I want to snuggle with mommy. She's like, okay. <laughs> You're such a good mummy. You'll get better, don't you worry. This is just your first little. Hmm. Sounds very good that you only had two, because that means next time you'll probably have three. And it'll be a very good slow thing, it won't just be three, four, five. Because <laughs> I've heard from my friend who is also a guinea pig breeder, like, like a lot more experience, that once guinea pigs start having the babies, they'll go up in numbers, as in, like the more they have, the more litters they have, the more there are in the litters. Um, yeah, so it's very good that she started with two, because that's the, probably the smallest it's going to get. And, um, yeah, if she started with four, then it wouldn't be very good. <laughs> good either. So it probably means next time she's either going to have two or three. Probably three. <laughs> you and your little snowballs. You can now see that Snowball now has a bit of grey on her um, her ear, which is kind of disappointing because I was kind of hoping that her ears would stay completely pink, but now there's a little bit of grey on that one. Come on. Okay, now she's gone. <laughs> hey, Mama. Where are you? Here you are. Mum always had a bit of grey on her ears, both of her ears, so I'm just going to hope that, she did, that Snowball doesn't get any more grey on her ears and that she can be the perfect little pink ear. Um, guinea pig she is, but even if she doesn't, um, uh, she'll still be cute. <laughs> just, it just means that if we do, for some reason, end up keeping her, like, with the coronavirus, sorry, it might be pretty hard to sell them both, so, it just means that, like, if that does happen, then it'll be very hard to tell the difference between the two, because Snowball and Daisy look so, so similar, like, Pretty much the only difference is Snowball is smaller. So far she doesn't have longer hair, but I think she will get longer hair. And her pink ears. That's it. That's it. <laughs> they look so similar. And they're going to look even more similar once Snowball gets bigger. So yeah, I just really hope that her ears stay as pink as they are. And don't get any grey. Yeah. And also pink ears are cuter than grey ears. Sorry, Daisy. They just are. I'm sorry. But I know it's not your fault how you look. You're adorable no matter what, because you're a skinny pig. Yeah. Oh, you like that spot, don't you? You love you want me to do this? Yes, you do. You do. <laughs> she loves it under this spot. Most guinea pigs love it under here because when guinea pigs are trying to show their dominance, show that they're the boss, what they'll do is this competition where they pull up their chin and whoever has the highest chin wins, so they get to be the boss. And so when they get to just like enjoy putting their chin up, it's not like an argument, it's just like, yep, I'm the boss, look at me, oh my chin feels good. It's just like, yeah, <laughs> she loves it. 
you can just tell from the way she keeps putting her chin up, she's just like, yes, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> it's also just like a good exercise for a chin. Yeah. Alright, you've had enough. You want to go back to sleep. You're exhausted, mummy. Had a big day. Oh, you want to do the chin thing again? Okay, we'll do it again. Dead. <laughs> So cute. She's becoming a better mom now. She definitely hasn't stepped on her babies for a while. She's being more gentle. She just doesn't know. And the babies have never like squeaked in pain because of her. They've they've been like shock. Whenever she steps on them, she's never like truly hurt them. She could be more gentle with them, but it is her first litter. She has had no experience, so I'm not going to be hard on her. Just going to keep looking after these babies, and they're completely fine and healthy, so there's no reason, reason to worry. <laughs> Look at you and your little pink feet. You're so cute with all your pink. Is it Munchkin? Yes, it is. It's Munchkin. Ow. I don't know if that was a bite or a call. Babies can be a little bit bitey because they don't know what to bite and what not to. They're like experiencing all these new things, but they haven't bitten me for a very long time. So I hope that wasn't a bite and it was just a claw. I think so, it was just like a warning bite. It was like a big bite. I've recently realized that he actually has rosettes. Can you can you stay still for a second, Munchkin? So rosettes are what our siblings have. Like you see with Daisy, she has a rosette here. And then like she kind of has rosettes here. You can kind of see the, the bold line there. And he has a bold line as well. So he has a bold line there. It's kind of hard to see when he's not moving. I'll do a proper video showing him proper when he's for sale. He's currently one week old now, so he's not for sale yet. <laughs> Two more weeks to go, guys. Um, oh, and now he's just hiding under there. And I don't know if you can see it, but he has two rosettes so far. And it's really cool to have a Rex with a rosette. He's, he, that curly fur there is um, Rex fur. Snowball, what are you doing? It's a happy family. Hmm. You gonna drink some milk? And then mummy's gonna walk away again. <laughs> oh, poor little snowball. You're okay, girl. Mm, you're so soft. She's like so soft. I remember, it reminds me of what Daisy felt like when she was a baby. I forgot how soft she felt. And now I remember because now I'm holding her baby. And she's just like the softest little thing. Snowball really suits her. She's just like a little snowball that you're just holding. Like, look at this. <laughs> okay. They want to go back to the cage now, so I'm going to do that. Everyone say goodbye to the guinea pigs. Goodbye. Oh, she's drinking some milk. I let her drink the milk. And then she finished off with them back in the cage. Snowball really wants to drink milk. Mum's just like, no. Let me hide. Oh, poor Snowball. Munchkin got the right idea. Munchkin's not as small as Snowball, so I imagine he needs less milk than her. And probably can catch up with Mum a bit easier than Snowball. Alright, I'm gonna put them back in the cage now. Bye bye, guinea pigs. So. The babies are now more than one week old. Um, there they are. There's Snowball. <laughs> Look at how big she's gotten. And I don't know if you can see Munchkin, but he is there. He's just poking his little head out. There we go. <laughs> oh, Mommy's making her face. 
and they're all eating grass. They're all a very nice, happy family. I'm about to put their auntie and grandmas in with them. So I just call them the aunties and grandmas. They're not technically, the grandmas aren't related at all, but they did raise Daisy, so that's what I'm gonna call them. Just gonna move this. This is just here for shade. Alright. First thing I need to do is unzip it, and then we're just like so. Of hard to find a spot to put it when there's all these tunnels. I can balance on top of them. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for them to crawl out. Did you just popcorn Daisy? I hope I got that on camera. If so, that is. There we go, there's Squeak. Squeak is five years old. She's the oldest guinea pig in our herd. There's Star. She's actually Daisy's actual sister, not from the same litter. With a different mum, but same dad, and their mums are aunties, so they're kind of a cross between cousins and, and sisters. <clears throat> and the same thing could happen when these guys get their little friend because this one is going to have kids because we're going to borrow a bonnie. The baby's dad, and we're gonna, um, and so we're gonna have even more babies. So we're gonna get Star pregnant, and then we're also gonna get Daisy pregnant later. Um, just in case you don't know, lots of people are against guinea pig breeding, and that makes total sense. There is a lot of risks, um, but I know what I'm doing. I'm friends with the guinea pig breeder, and. Um, we're starting off with low, as you can see, with just two babies. And now that it's all gone well, and I'm a bit more confident, we're doing some more. If I have any questions at all, I can always ask my friend, who's a um, pretty much an expert guinea pig breeder. And it's also just like, this is a great way to get a living. But if you don't know that much about guinea pigs, I have to say, do not breed them. <laughs> um, I have had guinea pigs for over half of my life, you know, like 10 years. And um, and I've studied them for pretty much as long as I can remember. You know, ever since I met them, I love them. <laughs> and I've wanted to know more and more about them. And then once I found out that breeding was a thing, you know, um, you know, getting money from doing your favorite thing in the world, which for me is loving guinea pigs. <laughs> um, yeah. that. That would be amazing and now I get the chance to because now I have a friend who knows how to breed guinea pigs and can tell me about all the stuff and she says that if you do it right there's not actually that many risks and we know what we're doing and it's just a really good thing. There are of course times when a guinea pig can have stillborns and stuff like that but as long as you know what you're doing you keep it in control and you um just let the guinea pigs be happy and let them have a nice good family, have big cages, good food. Yeah, you just, yeah, the guinea pigs will be happy and they'll be fine. But please do not bring guinea pigs if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but I do, so you don't need to worry. Um, yeah. If you want to, you can watch other videos about how to tell if your guinea pig is pregnant. And guinea, guinea pigs can get pregnant accidentally because other lots of things can happen in pet shops that pet shop owners cannot know that a, a guinea pig is a boy or girl. Um, they can, like, I remember once going to a pet shop and there were these two baby guinea pigs, and I'm like, What gender are these? And they're like, That, that one's a boy and that one's a girl. And I'm like, And how old are they? And they're like, Five weeks. And I'm like, um, they should have a role model and they should have <laughs> and they should be apart because the male will be sexually immature soon 
or right now, <laughs> we don't know. And they're like, oh, it's normal for a, oh, did you see that snowball popcorn? And they're all just like, oh, it's normal for a guinea pig to, to get pregnant. And I'm like, but it's not good. <laughs> So yeah, lots of things can happen and if you want help, please do watch more of my videos or request more videos in the comments down below about how to look after baby guinea pigs and pregnant guinea pigs. It's mainly just more food and more stuff, but there is other things you need as well. <laughs> Did you see that? Star just popcorned. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> it's so good to see Star popcorn again. Before the babies came, she wasn't really popcorning that much at all because, you know, Daisy wasn't very energetic and she didn't have a playmate anymore playmate anymore because Daisy and Star are like best friends. And then now that the babies are here, they're all popcorning and popcorning is contagious. So, the, so <laughs> these guinea pigs really started popcorning and it'll be even more popcorns when the babies are getting bigger and more lively. The babies have already gotten so lively. Look at them, just eating into all that grass. Hmm. So nice grazing, isn't it, girls? All right. So I think that's the end for this vlog today. Um, so please write down comments, comics, <laughs> comments about what you want to see next. If you have any concerns or interest or just anything at all please do say in the comments down below um please like this video if you liked it um give me feedback and watch some more videos and subscribe it really helps me and really helps the channel and it's just also a really hard time to get work right now so it really helps and it will help the guinea pigs as well because well you know pretty much all the money i get if i get any money at all We'll go to the guinea pigs. So yeah. So yeah, please help and support the channel. And I'll see you guys next time when we talk about everything guinea pig.